fall of 2019, I studied in Rabat, Morocco for three and a half months. I'm writing this in June 2020, back in an America and a time I never could have anticipated. From the perspective I have now, my time in Morocco feels like years ago, even though I was there less than seven months ago. I edited all this footage together back in January, when I was struggling to adjust back to life in the US and also struggling with processing my time in Morocco. I look at this and I see it through the eyes of someone both trying to adapt to Morocco when I shot it, but also trying to adapt back to a life that was never going to be the same. So here is, I guess, a collection of memories that sometimes don't even feel real anymore. There's no real thesis to this, I think I made this at the time as a way of processing the changes I was feeling within myself. So. Welcome to whatever this is. So tell us about Big Head, Caitlin. Oh. <laughs> I saw him and I said, God damn, it's a big head. I hope it's not cancer. <laughs> it's not, it's testosterone. <laughs> How many pomegranates do you think you've eaten? <laughs> you've eaten at least I plead the fifth. <laughs> Legitimately, maybe like 200. <laughs> no, no, that's an exaggeration. 100. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Here's a pumpkin pie. <laughs> Made with a souk pumpkin, roasted ourselves. With cinnamon ground from the spice man below my house. Now, in the middle of 2020, when I reflect on this time, it often feels so detached from the real world. Sometimes it feels like all I have left of Morocco is a huge but limited collection of photos and videos. Maybe a few clear memories, good ones and bad ones, all of which stick with me. But I think what I've come to learn is that no matter how much time there is between the present and the past, no matter how hard it is to reconcile that time in my life with the life I'm living now, the impact of these experiences will always be part of me. They changed me. The lessons I learned and the challenges I faced aren't in a capsule. They inform the way I choose to live my life every day, even now. And though I miss it often, I will always be grateful for Morocco, what this experience taught me, and all the wonderful people I met along the way.